And I think a lot of you will be able to relate to this because this is something that's not totally out of the realm of what anybody can do. All right, Joe, welcome back to another one. So, a little backstory if you guys are new. So, four years ago, I built a boat. Um, now, whenever I say I built a boat, like I hauled in sheets of aluminum on a trailer and I spent the next year and I built up a 25 foot um, aluminum boat. I put a 200 horse tiller on the back of it. It was kind of my dream fishing boat. Uh, it took a lot of time, a lot of effort. Uh, it was a super cool project, one of the bigger projects I've ever undertook. Now, ever since I've built that boat, I've always wanted to build another one and I've always wanted to build a bow fishing boat. Um, so a couple years ago, I bought a jet boat, an old beat up jet boat. My plan was to build a boat around dual 110 horse jet engines and make it a, a really shallow drafting uh, jet boat, right? Now, as many of you guys know, in the last couple of years, really, um, prices of everything have skyrocketed, right? Uh, just, I mean, to, to an extent that it is just stupid. Um, so anyway, before we get into this summer here, I still want to build up a, a dedicated bow fishing boat. Bow fishing is something that I've had a passion for for a lot of years. I've had several different boats and uh, you know, you're always trying to tweak. And you know, one cool thing about bow fishing boats is kind of each individual person has their own particular taste, if you will, in a boat. So anyway, with that being said, I have been slowly building up to this for the last couple of years, buying little parts and pieces. Uh, come down, and I've also been watching aluminum prices. Come down to the time where I need to get going on the project to have it for the summer. And right now, um, aluminum is just ridiculous, especially for 5086, which is what I want to build a, a, a boat that's going to take a beating out of. So, with that being said, I present to you my new boat build. So, obviously, the last time I built a boat, um, I built a thing from scratch, right? Now here's the problem. Um, I purchased this entire rig, what you see, for less money than what it would have cost me to buy two sheets of aluminum uh, for the new boat build. Now, just to give you an idea, it requires four sheets just to build a hull, and then you got to have everything on the inside, plus all the rigging and, and everything else. So, and then that doesn't include a trailer, or obviously I've had the motors with the jet motors, but um, yeah, I mean, it, it is just, it is not feasible right now for me to be able to, to build another boat. So rather than build a boat, we're gonna build a boat up like what most people think about. So here we go, y'all. I just got back, I drove to Tennessee to get this thing. I present to you the 1998 Sun Tracker Party Deck 21. Okay. Now, I have looked at these boats for years and years on the lake, and I've always thought to myself, man, this would make a heck of a fishing boat. So let me give you a rundown real quick. So what this is, is uh, this is a deck boat. This is kind of um, a... A, a mash of a, a V-bottom boat or, and a party boat or a pontoon boat, if you will, kind of that whole like like mashed up uh, mix. But every, they're very roomy boats, right? They're designed to hold a lot of people, take a big wave. Um, you know, they're just designed for a lot of a lot of people, basically, right? So what we have here, um, I'll give you guys a walkthrough, but I'll just talk a little bit here. So. This is essentially, they call it a party deck 21. They call it a 21 foot boat and it is 21 feet from the nose of the boat to the transom. However, you have um, a stepped back deck uh, and then a, a big offset for the motor. So the actual inside of the hull is 19 foot. However, like I said, this is not your typical John boat, if you will. This boat is 101 inches wide. It's a V bottom welded boat uh, and it maintains that width all the way up to five feet before the front of the boat. So floor space wise, you are actually getting way more floor space than if you would say um, 
have like a 2072 John boat or something like that. Square footage wise, there's a lot more square footage in here because of the extra width. These sides, you're going uh, 80, 84, 86 inches wide up to 101 inches rather than 72, you know, out to like 96 or something. So, um, so this is actually a welded V bottom boat. Um, you know, the whole like welded versus riveted thing. Personally, I mean, I've owned both, you know, rivets are super strong. They're, they're very strong. However, generally because it's such a strong fastener, the aluminum that the hulls are made out of are generally thinner, uh, which is tough to weld on. So, you know, your welded boats are generally a little thicker hull uh, material. I'm gonna weld this boat, I'm gonna weld on this boat. So this is a welded hull, um, you know, in really good shape too. For a 1998, these, this thing is, you know, and generally speaking, that's kind of what I find a trend of is, you know, your pleasure boats are usually better, better maintained. They're not beat up, you know, quite as bad. Uh, motor wise, generally speaking, your, your pleasure boats are maintenance more by professionals rather than some guy in his garage. Uh, you know, so, you know, you kind of get a little bit of best of both worlds from those kind of things. So what we have is a 1998 party deck 21, and I am going to strip this thing down completely and we're going to build it up to be the ultimate catfishing slash bow fishing boat. So my idea behind this is. I'm hoping in the next couple of years that aluminum is gonna go down to more of an affordable rate, right? But to get me by, I want a project and I want something that I can sell. Bow fishing boats generally are a harder sell outright than fishing boats. Around where I live, catfishing is huge. Uh, so I am gonna build this up the best I can to be a awesome catfishing boat as well as a bow fishing boat. Uh, I'm telling y'all, whenever you get this thing stripped down and, and reconfigured, you're looking at a 21 foot V bottom catfishing boat. I mean, that's like an ideal catfishing boat for everybody. The amount of room and the space and hopefully how I configure it. It, it should be an easy flip, easy sell. Um, you know, so that's, that's my idea. I'm not hanging on this thing forever. Um, but I want to get me by. I want to have some fun. I want another project. Uh, I really enjoy working on this stuff. So anyway, 1998 hull. It's got a 1998 Mercury um, two-stroke 150 on the back of it. Runs great. Just got home from the lake. Ran. Uh, this sucker runs good. Uh, it's sitting on a single axle, uh, fully galvanized, pretty heavy-duty trailer. Uh, very happy with this, this trailer. It, there's nothing wrong with it at all. Um, so yeah, well, you've got it. You got a 21 foot boat. It's got live wells. It's got bilge pumps. It's got steering. It's got everything that you need. Uh, we, this one's even got a, a bimini top that we're going to be able to reuse. So pretty dang. I mean, everything's here, right? Like that's the cool thing. So we'll jump up in the boat and I'll show you what the inside, because that's the last time you're going to see it. Uh, we are going to just completely gut this boat and, and start from scratch. All right, so we're standing on the, the front deck of this boat here, uh, and as you can see, it is very, very roomy. Uh, like I said, it maintains that you know 100, 101 inch width the the whole the whole length of the boat basically. Uh, so very, very spacious boat. So up front here in the V nose, um, we've got uh, we've got a live well here, so all the plumbing's there. Um, We've got dry storage there on the front deck. This thing has about a five foot front deck. I think it, I'm gonna extend it a little bit more for bow fishing. So then as we look kind of throughout the boat, this is kind of what makes this thing a pleasure boat, if you will. So we've got this couch seating all throughout. Um, and there's, there's, these are just on hinges. So there's storage all underneath this thing, but it's all aluminum framed, right? So obviously this thing is not in the best of shape, doesn't matter, we're gonna get rid of it. Um, the flooring is actually pretty new, but it's gone over, it's been gone over. Um, also, it's plywood decking, so it's a lot of weight, um, you know, and it just, we're gonna get rid of it. We don't want a bow fishing boat with carpet in it, for sure. Uh, we may utilize some of the carpet elsewhere, but huge console here. Um, we're gonna minimize this and 
make this a lot smaller and just give us our bare bones. So like I said, we've got the, the Mercury 150 in the back. Uh, my plan here is actually to, to move this, make this a center console boat, um, get rid of this whole console and then make a, a new console smaller. Uh, we've got storage here in the center. This is kind of for skis and, and I guess tubes or whatnot, uh, but it's huge. It's a huge storage space. Um, right in the middle of the boat, so we may utilize that for for rod storage or for bows or, or something else. Um, like I said, you got the bimini top. We'll probably reuse that. Like I said, this thing is rated for ten people. Uh, the back here is interesting. I'll bring the camera up uh, and you guys can see that because it's probably too far away. So like I said, we got couch seating everywhere. That's all going to get going and be gone. The, the cool thing about this is, like I said, I think everything is almost here um, because you can see that's all aluminum framing there. So there is probably enough aluminum in this thing to do all our decking and, and deck extensions and everything. That's the big dry storage box here. Um, this was like a whole deal. They just, they just sold everything. Um, that's the live well. We may repurpose that live well in a different location, but all the plumbing is here. Um, they said, obviously, get rid of all this flooring and the couches and the upholstery. This is this huge center console, which we are definitely going to get rid of here. Um, I'm thinking just a very small, you know, like 18 inch console right in the center and do this center console uh, deal here. So, Bimini top. So this back storage area under here is kind of your battery storage, but there is a huge aluminum bulkhead that goes all the way across. Um, and it creates a step here actually into the back step deck of the boat. So we're gonna utilize that for our rod racks. So you can see here, this is kind of the back end of the boat and we're gonna utilize all of that. Um, there's the big 150 there for the, uh, the boat. You can see the way the transom's made into this thing. Like I said, there's the sides, but we're gonna get rid of all this and make this the, the true sides there. So I am very excited for this. This is something I've always thought about and I finally picked this thing up for cheap enough that it's gonna be justifiable. So it's a big deep V boat. Um, I actually just marked whenever I went to the lake where the water line is, and it's right there. So this boat actually only draws about eight inches of water as it sits right now. And I can tell you there is a lot of weight that's gonna come out of this boat. Um, a lot of weight that's gonna come out of this boat. So I'm thinking we're gonna get this boat down to drawing about six inches of water. You know, you put a jack plate on that motor, man, you, you could run this thing pretty shallow. So. He said galvanized trailer, different kind of front end on it, but definitely a, a big deep V. This thing will take a big wave for sure. Be a great river catfishing boat. Uh, nice trailer here with some steps on it. I mean, this is, this is pretty legit. Like I am actually very, uh, this thing is gonna look cool. It's ugly as sin right now because of the 1998 colors, but it is in really, really good shape for what it is. Uh, motor fires right up, no problem. Like I said, all welded, so. Um, and the hull is in really, really good shape underneath. You can tell it hasn't been, hasn't been beat up at all. It's been beached a few times, but I mean, for a, for a 98 boat, you know, they even put kind of a, you know, wear tread on that V-nose, so. But yeah, you can tell, I mean, you can see they, they brace the hell out of this thing. Um, but yeah, there you go. Good bunks on it, good galvanized trailer. All right, so there you have it. The, the 98 Sun Tracker 21 Party Deck. This is gonna be, this is gonna be my new project boat, y'all. Uh, I'm gonna try to film the best I can through all parts of it. We are gonna gut this thing down to, to nothing. And I think a lot of you will be able to relate to this because this is something that's not totally out of the realm of what anybody can do. 
Uh, you know, I understand, you know, building a whole boat from scratch, that may be a little intimidating, but this, man, you, this is, this is going to be a cake. So we've got about two, two and a half months to get this thing done before our water warms up and we're going to be bow fishing. That's my whole plan is I want to have this thing done by May. Um, I want to be able to be bow fishing out of it whenever the water warms up. So we got to get on it. Um, I know, I know that sounds like a long time, but it's, it's going to go really, really quick. So stick with me y'all. This is going to be fun.